Hi everyone, uh, this is Alan March from March Audio here. Um, we've had an interesting request um, from someone on Audio Rescience Review to demonstrate um, the protection systems uh, of our amplifiers. Um, now, this was specifically aimed at the P501, the request, um, but uh, we're only man we're actually man manufacturing P421s uh, this week. So, um, that's what we've got on test. They are different modules in the P421 to the P501. Um, the P421 is the uh, Purify 1ET400 module, and in the P501, uh, it's the 1ET7040 module. Um, they are fundamentally similar modules, um, the 7040 and the 501 being more powerful and more, um, more capable with current delivery. Um, so not the test is not going to be exactly as uh, the individual requested, um, but the protection systems on both the modules are the same. They follow the same uh, methodology to monitor the current output and shut down the amplifier instantly um, in case of any abnormal loads such as short circuits. Now, what we've got here is the P421 amplifier. whole bunch of spaghetti down there. Um, we are monitoring the voltage on the output voltage on the DVM there and the waveform on the oscilloscope. There is a four ohm resistive dummy load connected to the system. So what I am going to do, I'm going to ramp it up to um, a one kilohertz, 400 watt output. Um, and that's about 40 volts RMS into a four ohm load. And then I am gonna short the output by connecting those two leads together. And we'll see what happens. So bear with me one second. So I'm going to turn on the one kilohertz sine wave. As you can see, I've got about 40 volts RMS. And now let's short the output. Oh look, it came back. Short it again. And again. One more time. So I'm afraid, John, uh, Restore John, if you were expecting magic smoke to be emitted from the amplifier, then you're going to be sorely disappointed. So as I said, the, the P501 behaves in exactly the same way. Um, we've done extensive testing on this. Um, if accidents happen, and they can do, you know, like you short the, the output leads, no harm will come to the amplifier whatsoever. Okay. Hope that helps, John.